Hey everybody! So welcome to Unit 6. Unit 6 is a mentor text that looks like the one on your screen. It's a lion and a mouse and it says, Tales that teach us. What can different cultures and their stories teach us? Right? So um, we're going to be reading some different stories today. Um, or this week. Right? Um, we're just going to take a look inside and do a little picture walk today. So one of the things I like to do with the mentor text is I like to just flip through the pages. So I'm going to encourage you, if you haven't already, to spend a little time just flipping through and seeing what you think these stories will be mostly about. Good readers make predictions because it helps them understand the stories they're reading. Okay, so I'm going to open up um, to the next page here and let's see if we can't picture walk it together. Okay, so it says, this is page four and page five. It says, what can different cultures and their stories teach us? Okay. We're going to come back to that question after we watch a video, after we uh, dig a little bit deeper. But I want you thinking about why we're reading stories from different cultures, different times, different places, faraway places that don't look like Minnesota, or that don't feel like the United States of America right now. They're different. Why do we read these stories? Hmm. Great question. And then when we do come back to it, what I'll do is I'll put your answers on little post-it notes and we'll fill up our circle. So my goal is to get some answers to that question. What? Why are the people excited? Oh, interesting. What will the round things or what are the round things and will they help the people in some way oh okay so they're thinking about a story you haven't even seen yet and it's the first one we're going to be reading today so i think you'll see what these two people are talking about all right so this story was written by grace lynn it's called the village of the moon rain and it's from a larger story called Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. She's won awards both for her writing and her illustrations in the book. And um, she is celebrating her own Chinese heritage in her folk tales and fairy tale stories that she writes. So if you had to take a guess at these pictures, these places and these people, what predictions would you make about this story? Does this look like a story where people are going shopping in the mall? Hmm. Or a story where they're going to teach us about inventions that make cars safer? Mm -mm. Well, what is this story going to be about then? Right? Good readers make those predictions. It helps you understand where the story is going and what they might talk about. Have you ever seen anything like this in the sky or on the ground? Because it seems like these people are excited, just like they said on the other page. What are these people all excited about? And then the other question that was asked on the other page is, what's going on with these white things? And are they going to help the people in some way? So those are just a couple questions. Maybe you have some guesses about the answers. Have you ever seen anything like this? Hmm. Here we go. This is what the story looks like. It's a short story. It just goes um, one page in the text. It starts on page six and it goes to page seven. Tomorrow, what we're likely to do is go through and pull out all the hardest words in this story. So today, I just want you to hear the story and um, enjoy. Okay, here we go. The village of the moon rain. Long ago, everything was cold and gray and ugly. The land was empty. And then one day, a very strange storm broke out. It's raining pearls, our ancestors said to each other. Jewels from the moon. And they rushed out with baskets and bags, catching what they could from this strange storm. Magically, 
When the raindrops were caught, they didn't disappear. And soon, their baskets, their bags, were full. But in the morning, our ancestors saw that these drops were not pearls or jewels. By the sunlight, they saw that they were really seeds. But no one knew what kind of seeds they were. Curious, the people planted them in the hard earth. As the daylight broke over the land, the seedlings started to grow higher. And soon they grew into these beautiful silver trees. See them? And each tree had golden flowers. They were so beautiful that our ancestors planted more and more of these seeds. And soon the whole village was blooming with hundreds and hundreds of flowering trees. And since then, our home has been called the Village of the Moon Rain. Thanks for reading with me, everybody. We'll come back and do one more thing with this story on the next slide. Thanks, Don.